How are you? Amazing, man. Thank you. Nah, you okay? Yeah, good, man. My name's Megan. Megan, yeah? Sam. Sam, yeah. Sam, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. Yeah, he looks nice. There's nothing better than having a date with a fitty. Remember, though, only kiss him if you like him. Can I just say, I never, I don't really date. Neither do I. Do you not? I'm so, so nervous. Are you? Papa, look. I'm so nervous. I feel like these chairs are too small for me, man. Really? I can't fit in them. I mean, you're quite muscly. Yes. He really is. He's got massive tits, but the hard ones everyone wants. So you work out a lot? A little bit, yeah. Are you not a health person? I'm a little bit of both. Like, I like to enjoy myself, but I do keep fit. Do you think I work out? Yeah, definitely. I don't. At all? No. And I eat shit as well. Well, fingers crossed that's on the menu for you, Megs. Actually, I have allergies to a lot of things, so, yeah, so I have to I. watch what I eat. No way. What? Yeah. Shut up. What are you allergic to? Like, Don't tell me your weight. Lactose green. intolerant, oh, are you gluten lactose? intolerant. No, you're not. Shut up. Bread. I'm gluten intolerant. Really? Yeah. Oh, gastric intestinal flatulence. Bloated belly, smelly shits. Do you know what? It's just so nice to finally meet someone who gets me. I'm like getting butterflies in my stomach. That's just the IBS. Who gave her gluten? What do you want to eat? Get some stuff to, sh to share, innit? Yeah. yeah. I think you do some nice prawns in here. Can we have this... this are they king prawns? Yeah, can we have the king prawns, please? Can you just make sure it's gluten and wheat-free? Oh, hold on a minute. You're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Oh, it's like allergy bingo. What's it got in there? Feta. Oh, yeah. No, I can't right, have can, we, can you do us... Basically, we need the king prawns, but we need it gluten-free, wheat-free and lactose-free. No milk, no cheese, no dairy. And no prawn. Give her a bowl and a spoon. Thank you. God, we are a nightmare. We don't have to go anywhere, man. Well, you can go for a poo together later. What made you join the agency? Like, I want to know. I'm just useless at dating, really. Like, this is the first date I've been on in about six and a half years. Why? Because of a long-term relationship, so... So you've had one girlfriend in the past seven years? Yeah. So, in the past seven years, I've had... This don't look good. Seven years, how I'm 26. Can we count back a minute? What is that? I'm really bad what, what, 19, yeah? 19? Since you were 19. Right, so hold on a minute. How many are there? This is, like, a serious problem that I have. What, counting? That I, like, I'm really failing in my relationships. Uh, I've had seven. Seven? That's not that bad. It's less than one a year, isn't it? Uh, by my calculations, that's exactly one a year. That's really big. You've so had one a year. I've one for three years, so that doesn't work out. Right, hold on a minute. That means you've had three in one year. What are your clients like? I'm just all men, really. Oh, little men? Uh, don't you don't train females. girls? Do you not like to train girls? I was never allowed to. So... What do you mean? Oh, OK. I'm getting this to. breakup situation coming no, no, to them. No. <laughs> this is from a long time ago. So, so the girl never used to like you training girls, yeah, I get so that. I, I just, I respected her Well, you know, cause actually, can I just let you know something? I actually think when you're in a relationship and you trust someone, then it shouldn't matter if you're training a girl. Summer's after some free training sessions. No. I could train you up nice. Really? I mean, like, you could do, like, like press up. I feel like I can do one. Come on, then. I'll give you a hand, yeah. Just a bit of motivation. First date and she's already on her knees. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Why is she Come doing on. this? Down. Is this normal? <laughs> she looks like a barcode. I don't think I've ever done a press-up in my life. But what I do want is for Sam to use those big arms to show me how it's done. I think you should do ten. Two. Yeah, I don't three, think that's going to be a problem. Four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. Oh, my God. Are you winding me up? Please, just sit down a minute. Just sit down. Wow. Do you want to know something? I have a witchy finger. I've got an itchy ass, but I ain't shown off about it. What does that mean? Like, I believe in spirits. All right. A lot. She's not mucking about, Sam. She sees dead people. I know there's another world. I believe in, like, planes. Like, we're on one plane, there's other planes. Yeah, I think he wants to find the emergency exit. 
I believe in spirits as well. Cheers. I'm pretty sure that went straight over a red Sam. Big question I'm going to ask you right now. Go on, then. Oh, I love these. Do you prefer baths or showers? Great question. I don't know, like, I like a nice soak in the bath. Yeah. Put some bubbles in that, get a couple of candles out. A bit of Barry White in the background, maybe. What's Barry White doing in your bathroom? I like to have a bath with someone. Yeah. Like, do you think that's weird? No, like, not at all. I'm totally down with that. Really? Like, sharing the I bath, bath with you. Definitely. What, sharing bath water with yeah, me? Yeah, you're not dirty, are you? You look, pretty, not. you look pretty clean. Dettol's the only thing she's not allergic to. One thing I want to know about someone is I want to know if I would have a bath with me. I want them to feel comfortable enough to sit there with their legs open, with their whatever out in front of me. What, is rubber duck? And feel comfortable enough to have their dick out in front of me. Oh, dick, of course it is. No, I'm being serious. Well, I'd love like, to have a bath with you. Yeah, no, definitely. I want to know that. I want to yeah. know, like... Who are these people that don't want to get their dick out in front of her? I said I prefer baths anyway. This is great. For me, the best way of getting to know someone inside out is having a bath with them. A bit of Ruddux, a little stress relief. Rud Ruddux? Ruddux. Radox. That's, maybe that's your accent from where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit. Is that how you pronounce it? Redox, isn't it? Oh, shut up, you're not posh. Whatever. <laughs> the boy knows his bath products. Fair play. Well, I like your values in life. Fucking Chuck, normally. I'm sorry, kids are married. I like a nice family and that, and like, a couple of kids. And... Do you want, I think, what I want? I think so. I feel like I mean, maybe see, I need to, like, kiss you to see how I feel. You reckon? I think so. Yeah. It's been a great day, and Sam is proper fit. But for me, it's all in the kiss. Give me a kiss then. <laughs> you kiss nice. Is it right? You, you kiss good as well. You should go, yeah? Yeah. It's been nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. I think the date went really well, to be honest. Like. Seem to get on and get a few things in common and that. It's not often I meet someone that's got the same allergies and stuff as me, so hopefully a second date. Allergies? Well, I can't think of a better reason. He is so nice. He's a salt. He's just not enough of a salt. What? The agents are not going to be happy. Even if they've, like, given me everything I want, if they don't kiss me with that right twinge, then I know it's not going to work. All right, then. <laughs> See you later, yeah? Mwah. See you later. The ages are actually going to kill me, but I want to know if he's a good kisser, then I have a, then I have a connection. He ain't a phone, the poor bastard. I need that oomph. I need that in my mouth. I wish my wife thought more like you.